What is going on guys? My name is Patrick aka Chief Pat and today bringing you guys the next episode of my Let's Play Clash of Clans series and rather than decide on what I want to upgrade right off the bat I'm just gonna go ahead and do a bunch of raids today and see what I can upgrade towards the end because honestly I've done most of the major upgrades at Town Hall 7 and now I'm just trying to finish the last couple of things up and start upgrading those walls up to level 7 and looking at this first base over 950,000 resources available which is insane and another reason I love being Town Hall 7 so much and uh, let's go ahead and attack this guy's base and deciding where I want to attack from first of all I'm going to go ahead and drop those two lightning spells since it definitely is cost effective for this raid and uh, probably I'll start attacking from the top right it really just depends how I feel and we'll see as I progress throughout this raid I'm also going to definitely want to make sure that I get as much dark elixir as I can in this episode I'm going to upgrade my barbarian king probably inside of the next episode hopefully I can get about a thousand to fifteen hundred today and uh, let's go ahead and attack from the top right and slowly make my way throughout this base all right so I took care of that mortar in the very beginning because I knew it would be a pain and probably destroy some of my archers that I was dropping in the very beginning because sometimes the giants get too close and they're going to reset their aggro and shoot the troops over the top. So I wanted to take care of that first. That way the giants had plenty of time to get inside of the base. And now my troops are slowly making their way through and you can see I'm getting plenty of resources from this raid. I did drop that third lightning spell just in case to help out on that second mortar. And uh, as my troops make their way inside, it doesn't look like he has too much splash damage left to deal with it. Except for the wizard tower on the top left and the wizard tower on the bottom right. As well as there is one more mortar on the bottom left. So I'm just going to slowly drop my goblins. And they're doing a pretty good job so far. I'm also going to do something pretty cheeky and drop those wall breakers to distract that wizard tower on the top left. So that's going to be really good. It's going to protect some of my goblins as well as my archers. And the last couple of troops inside of the base are going to go ahead and finish off the, as much as they can. And unfortunately, I'm not going to get every single piece of gold and every single drop of elixir. But overall, that was an amazing raid. And in total, we got 900,000 resources. So pretty insane. I guess the one negative would be that I only got 225 dark elixir. But as far as gold and elixir goes, that is definitely a massive raid at 900,000 and a pretty good one to start off the day. All right, so raid number two, definitely not nearly as much available. This guy has 450,000. Most of it looks like it's inside of the mines and pumps, but there is a pretty significant amount inside of the gold storages. So I'm also going to break my way through the top left and uh, see if I can make my way throughout this guy's base. So giants are going down, and right after I drop those guys, archers are making their way down the top left-hand side. I'm going to slowly funnel those goblins in. I really wanted them to separate from the giants so they didn't get hit by the wizard tower. And it looks like the first couple of wizard tower blast avoided the goblins but after that they sort of redirected and started attacking them and then now i'm just going to drop the rest of a couple of these goblins on the bottom right and they're going to make their way through and take care of those elixir collectors again i don't really care too much about elixir but seeing as i had most of the gold i decided to finish it off by dropping those guys on the bottom and seeing as goblins only cost like what 100 or 200 elixir each uh it's definitely cost effective to drop those guys on the bottom right and i'm definitely going to steal Pretty much all the elixir from this raid after that last uh, elixir pump goes down. So slowly spamming the goblins. I guess the wizard tower and the mortar was a little bit too much. But I did end up destroying it in the end. We're at 61%. I'm going to go ahead and end the battle there. And in total, we got 400,000 resources. So this is more realistic of a raid for Town Hall 7, Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9. Usually I look for around 400,000, especially now that we're starting to level up uh, later into Town Hall 7 and work our way to 1,000 to 1,100 trophies. So let's go ahead and attack this next base here where this guy has about I'd say maybe 600 and something thousand resources so attacking from the top left I fast forwarded a bit after I dropped my archers around his base to take care of some of the freebies and then now I'm just breaking my way apart compartment from compartment and just trying to destroy the mines and pumps as efficiently as I can. All right, so elixir pumps are going down. Don't want to waste too many goblins because, again, I'm more focused on the gold. And where the real money is is definitely on the bottom right. I'm going to start dropping my troops down there. So giants going down. I'm going to drop those two wall breakers, which will make their way in fine. And I'm going to drop my goblins right after that. And I'm hoping they don't get taken apart systematically by those mortars. We're going to have to see how they make their way through. And that's definitely why I'm not going to drop all my goblins at the same time and uh, slowly but surely we'll make our way to those level 12 and that one level 11 gold mine right there so things are going pretty well we've gotten almost half of the gold and we've gotten a pretty significant amount of elixir i don't know if i'm gonna have enough troops to get everything and deciding where i want to attack i guess since there is a gold mine and elixir pump on the top right i'm gonna break through here as well so a couple of troops to distract gonna drop the rest of these goblins and i did get that gold mine first that's gonna help me out a lot and looking at the last gold mine it looks like there's only one left on the bottom left 
All right, so seeing how I can get this, I only have a couple of archers as well as a couple of goblins. And as I drop those giants, I wanted the giants to go straight forward, sort of, and uh, be able to distract for that gold mine. But unfortunately, most of my troops wandered off to the left. And yeah, that turned out to be a little bit of a fail. The archers are shooting the clan castle. I was hoping that the archers would be out of range to where they wouldn't get shot down um, by the the archer tower right there but as they shoot that clan castle they're not gonna be able to take down anything else plus i'm running out of time so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up by dropping a lightning spell on that gold mine so i think i made about thirty thousand from that lightning spell so definitely worth it seeing as it only costs i think like twenty thousand elixir and gold's definitely more valuable for me right now so in total five hundred twenty thousand resources a total of eight dark elixir which obviously didn't help out that much and 11 trophies in total for this raid all right, so pretty solid raids, I have to say. Let's go ahead and wrap it up with one last one right here at 378,000 resources. I do need just a little bit more, so I'm gonna attack this guy. I can probably three-star this guy's base as well. So let's go ahead and attack and uh, see if I can make my way through. So <laughs> I had a big fail there by dropping all my wall breakers when I meant to drop a couple of my giants, I think. Uh, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to work without those guys. But honestly, this guy does have just like one center compartment in his base. So I'm not really too worried about the wall breakers as well. Might be a little bit difficult to get to those cannons and wizard towers towards the end. But again, he does have level two walls back there. So nothing that my giants... Uh, goblins or archers can't pierce through so things are looking pretty good only one splash damage building left in the wizard tower on the top left probably don't have to spam all of my troops and especially when these goblins take care of these last couple of resource buildings they're going to turn into a pretty powerful machine and definitely be able to destroy some of the remaining buildings for this raid so yeah things look pretty good for today i'm almost at two million gold which is my cap right now i definitely have to upgrade those gold storages as soon as possible because you never want to make sure you rate you, you never want to waste resources by going over the gold cap so i'll probably focus on that if not the next episode, the episode after that, seeing it's only 500,000 elixir. And as the rest of my guys go throughout this base, I sort of just have to decide on what I want to upgrade. So I do have a couple of archer towers I can still upgrade, as well as I have things that are a little bit more expensive, like the Teslas, which I think are 1.25 million gold to upgrade as well as for elixir i have a couple of things left in the lab but honestly the things i have left in the lab i haven't really used yet as well as there's a minion upgrade in there i don't think i've used minions yet as well i should probably use those sometime soon but uh, yeah pretty much useless stuff um besides the teslas which will be sort of nice i don't really need the air defense too much i haven't been attacked by balloons i don't really use wizards rage spells or heal spells but i guess i'll upgrade the wizards just in case I use those in some sort of giant healer composition, but uh, that's probably going to be it for the laboratory today. All right, so taking a look at the upgrades, like I said, Archer Tower up to level 8 is going to be 720,000 gold, still pretty inexpensive, as well as I still have one Archer Tower on the top left that I could upgrade, but seeing as I'm 1.25 million gold, I'd rather just upgrade the most expensive thing that I have available, and honestly for gold, that's the Tesla right now, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that, and that'll wrap up towards the end of the next episode. All right, looking at what else I can upgrade, I upgraded two of my gold mines or i guess two of my elixir pumps during the rating today as well as going to upgrade one more gold mine and that should wrap it up for today's video all right guys hope you enjoyed this let's play if you did make sure you drop a like below i'm going to be dropping another let's play coming out in a couple of hours so make sure you check that out and it's probably going to be my number one goal to get that barbarian king so that's going to do it i'll see you guys later peace out